Zach Pacer. You are in the whole Joy Creek year on deck. E1 Hoo, welcome to the stage, E1 Hoo! <laughs> such bullshit, right? Because they're doctors. They know better. The new uh, whatever medical scam going around nowadays is that whole rectal prostate exam thing. That is such bullshit, you know? Because I've heard a hundred different prostate rectal exam stories and they all end the same way. They didn't find anything. You know, if it's so important, why don't you show me what to look for and I'll stick my own finger up my own ass, huh? How about that? <laughs> uh, oh no, we can't have that, can we? Why, you need a medical degree just to find a bubble up your butt? I tell you, my intestines aren't the only thing full of shit around here. <laughs> you know the NFL has one Asian player, and he's a kicker. Could you not find a more racist position for this guy? You know, what, he's gonna go up barefoot in a karate uniform? <laughs> yeah, you know, OJ Simpson died a couple weeks back. Pretty crazy, right? It's even more crazy the way he crashed the internet. You know, the second he died, basically half of America got online and was like, who the fuck is O.J. Simpson? <laughs> I was watching this Bigfoot show the other day. It struck me as how dedicated these Bigfoot hunters were, you know? They're like so devoted to something that might not even be real. It's like comedians in their careers. <laughs> yeah, April 4th is now a new national holiday. It's now National Burrito Day. That's pretty cool, right? And the very next day, April 5th, is now National Toilet Clogging Day. <laughs> And you hear about uh, that <laughs> boat that crashed in that bridge over in Baltimore a couple weeks back? Yeah. Pretty crazy, right? It crashed in the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Kind of ironic, right? It's like, oh, say, can you see? There's a giant fucking boat coming! <laughs> yeah, they said the boat came from Singapore. I was like, ah, oh, crap. Asian driver, you know. <laughs> you know, the news, they said the boat weighed 200 million pounds. That's pretty damn heavy, right? It was actually even heavier before. It was actually 300 million pounds. But my ex-wife, she got off the boat right before it crashed. So. And I was watching the Oscars a couple weeks back. It's pretty cool, you know. Towards the end, I was getting excited. I was like, hey, look, they're bringing back the mummy. But then I saw, I was like, oh no, that's just Al Pacino. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was in the United States Army, first carry division for it. It was pretty cool, you know. It was weird being the only Asian person, though. Yeah, every day, people were just looking at me like, are we supposed to shoot this guy? <laughs> it's cool being in the army, you get some good benefits. I'd say the best benefit though is the ability to give old men hard ons. Yeah, old men, they love hearing army stories. You know, I guess because it makes them feel younger, it gives them hope for the future or something. But it doesn't matter, even matter what race they are, you know. Like if I meet some old man in a park and I start telling him army stories, then he start coming all over me. Yeah, I was talking to this guy the other day, he told me he's Persian. I was like, you're Persian? From Persia? He was like, yeah, where are you from? Uh, the Han Dynasty, I guess? <laughs> I don't know this last joke. You know, comedians will always tell you two things, right? They'll always tell you when they get booked on a show, and they'll always tell you when they recently had sex. Kind of juvenile, you know? <laughs> like myself, like I've been booked on a show in over a month. 
But I did get late last week, so whoa! <laughs> How about I do one more Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Not one person can get through without saying some weird, intrusive gay thought. Like, come up here and be full gay, you pussy, like you coward. Come up here and just suck a dick on stage, all right, guys? All right, in the 